Death Doeth Part in 2014. Here's the storyline. Kennedy Jameson, a wealthy socialite, has waited her whole life to have the perfect wedding. Engaged to the charming Ryan Harris. Directed by Nicholas Humphreys. Written by Ryan Koppel and Peter Benson. Julia Benson as Kennedy. Peter Benson as Ryan Harris. Emily Yurp as Emily Hawkins. Christine Chaitlin as Hannah Jamison. Kyle Cassie as Chet Donovan. Benjamin Ayers as Derek Harris. Dave Collette as Bo. Aaron Douglas as Harry. Viv Leacock as Steve. And Willis Horst as Gunther. Now, being in the uh, review business, you'd be surprised what films come your way and what films that you know nothing about. You're leery, but you say, fuck it, let's give it a watch. Here is a prime example of a film that a bunch of friends uh, and family get together to go in this get away before the big day for Kennedy. Kennedy, Ryan, and the clan, her sister, uh, a f- best friend of Ryan, and a cousin of Ryan was at this, they rent this cabin in the woods. I know. The caretaker, the owner of this cabin is uh, very creepy, okay? It's one of these films that they throw a character at you, and it's either you think he's off the wall, or you think he's just flat out strange. Well, what happens is, there's a killer on the loose. It's one of these, who's killing? Who is it? Uh, There's toss and turns, and left and right, and up and down. Until the very end, you find out who the killer is. You know, I must say this. Well shot, well acted, a cool storyline. And I think what makes this film stand out above other films like this is there's so many toss and turns, twists upside down, however, that you start to realize who really is the killer. And when you find the ending, it's going to pretty much shock you because they really threw one at you that made you feel like, wow, what a dumbass I am. That means good filmmaking, a good story. So Death Do Us Part in 2014, I was impressed. You know, run of the mill, not bashing it. There's a lot of films like this, but I think this film took it one step farther, and it's very creative writing. Enough said. This is Gruesome Herzog. I give this film... A 7.5 out of 10. It quite surprised me. I'm a little different when it comes to movies to review. I'm not, you know, I base it on, you know, how it makes me feel. How how much interest it makes me have. Uh, Creative ideas, twists, turns. There's nothing slow about this film. There's always something that's being thrown at you that makes you think. Enough said. This is Gruesome Herzog. And I'm out of here.